for distributing elements on top of sphere surfaces, there are two different eye expressions, namely the distribute 3D sphere random and the distribute 3D sphere evenly. And you are currently watching the mini tutorial for this one, for the random one. And with the evenly one, there is also a mini tutorial where I showed how to create this part. So here these white dots. You can see they are quite evenly distributed over the surface. Yeah. So it's like there is no place where many dots are and other places where none of them are. And with the 3D sphere random, it is less regular the placement than with this one. And with this one, we want to create now with the random one this nice blue in inner part here. Um, but um, so let's first see how applying uh, the random to the same points here would look like. Yeah? So I select all of these layers and now I'll see how regularly they are distributed over the surface. And now I apply here, apply here the random one. So center is zero, 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 uh, which is here due to the parenting. Yeah? Uh, so I recommend you to watch this tutorial, how we created this one here first to be able to follow. Anyway, if I apply this here now, you can see now they are not uh, as regular as before. Yeah, I mean they are smaller because the radius is here now 100 and it's not linked to to this um, to this null here. Yeah, but you see is here is points where many of them are pretty close, and then there are other parts where they are not so close. Um, okay, so randomly really means all the points are distributed randomly here on the sphere, and if you don't like this particular random placement, you can just change here your random seed, yeah, two for example. And now I select all these layers again and hit apply. And now they are just distributed in under in another random fashion, yeah. But again, here are some more than in other places, so it's all quite random. And if you enable change over time, then actually another placement is cho chosen for each frame. So if we enable this. Again, apply it to all of them. And then do a RAM preview. You can see that at each point in time, a completely different uh, element is chosen. Yeah? Okay, but we do not want this. We want it to be more static, but we want the elements to move over the surface here. And this can be done with the help of the wiggle. So from other mini tutorials for eye expressions, you maybe know already that you can use such a wiggle to fade in elements into their position or out of their position yeah, by linking the amplitude of the wiggle to some slider and making it very b big at the beginning. So all points are far away from their sphere position. And then you uh, fade this down to zero and then boom, all elements move onto the sphere surface. If you have no idea how this is working, look for example at the um, 2D circle and spiral or at the 3D grid uh, or eye expressions like this where I show this in the mini tutorial here. I skip it to keep it short, but I show you another nice thing that you can do here with this wiggling. And this is we say we have a say we have an amplitude of 100 and a frequency of 1. Yeah? And I apply this. Let's first see how this is looking like. Ah, now you can see all points are roughly staying in the surface, in the sphere surface or around the sphere surface, but are wiggling up to 100 pixels in an arbitrary direction. Yeah, by itself already a quite nice effect. But what we now want is we want them to wiggle, but on top of the surface. So we enable here wiggle on surface and apply it again and see now how this is looking like. Yeah, now you can see they are also wiggling around, but they stay exactly on the surface of the sphere. And this is what I actually used for this blue thing here ex in the middle of the sphere, except that I didn't use these white dots, but I used something else that I also have already prepared here. And this is here such a blue element. So let's um, completely delete here these points and just... Uh, take a look at this one here. So this is just like such a blue disk. Yeah? And now I want several of them. Yeah, maybe uh, six of them. And apply here this eye expression to them, the 3D sphere random. And of course I must parent them to our null object to be placed here nicely in the middle. So all of them 
should be linked to this. Oops, should be. Maybe I move them at the very bottom first. Here. And now they should be linked to this position control. Now they jump here. And you can see they are randomly distributed now on the sphere surface. They are not yet looking at the sphere. For this, again, we need this um, layer placement, layer orientation. Yeah, we want the 3D layers to look at a certain point, namely at the middle of the sphere. The middle of the sphere is at zero, so we just take them and apply it. And now you can see all of them are looking to the to the middle of the sphere. And now we also want, or this was not what I wanted, to adjust this. I load again the, the sphere yeah, from here, selecting one position and loading the 3D random sphere. Now we want them to wiggle even faster. Let's say we want them to wiggle by an amount of 500 pixels and we want like uh, three wiggles or two wiggles per second. Yeah. Apply. And let's take a look at this. Uh, and maybe we move them all to start here at the beginning of the composition. And now let's take a look at this. Yeah, now you can see they are all moving like this and also note that I have already enabled motion blur here. Yeah? And now if I make them move even much faster and much more, they will so be they will be so blurred that they will actually form the shape of this uh, sphere. But actually also if I look at it, it seems they are not really oriented correctly at this surface, right? Let's take a look at their orientation values. Uh, for whatever reason they are rotated here. So I should set this here back to zero for for all of them. So rotation change this component here to zero. And now you can see uh, why didn't it change all of them? Did it? Yeah, okay. Now they are all nicely arranged on this sphere surface, yeah. Note even if you have this look at point I expression applied, all these values here must be the keyframe values must all be zero because otherwise you rotate them relative to their look at position, yeah. Which is uh, actually a quite handy feature if you want them to be all 90 degrees rotated compared to looking at it. You can uh, enter it here. But anyway, so what we now want to get this blue ball here is to use motion blur to, to blur these blue disks here such that you almost not recognize them anymore, but that in total they cover most of this sphere surface. Yeah, So let's say we set here the amplitude to 2000, which means it even travels faster. Uh, let's see how this is looking like. Selecting here all the blue points. And applying it. And you can see still it is not so much blurred, so maybe it should also move a bit faster. So let's say 10 or so. This is a bit try and error. And now you can see already that this looks like a bit... Uh, so d just something blue that you cannot recognize anymore, but that is forming kind of here such a sphere surface. Yeah. So what happens here is now that these disks are moving very fast along this sphere surface and since I have enabled motion blur, this looks like this interesting, uh, not uh, really precisely formed uh, or like almost painted uh, sphere thing uh, here in the middle. Okay, so this is uh, what what it looks like here. Maybe this is yeah, this is moving quite fast, so um, quite uh, irregular. Maybe we could also just increase, increase the amplitude here and decrease the frequency. Anyway, you can play with those parameters. Just as a summary, distribute three D three D sphere random. Good to place elements on top of a surface if they should not be placed very in a regular fashion. Then better you better use the evenly variant. And the only thing you need to specify is the center. Usually it's best to leave this at zero and 
parent all your points to some null, then actually this null center will become the center of your sphere and you can use it to rotate your element or to, uh, to move it. Here you can have the radius, you can parent this or you can link this to some other null to animate the radius over time. You can also create half spheres, so an upper half only if you like. And also this one I didn't show, but I show this for other distribute I expressions. So for example, the distribute 2D uh, grid or so, I show how to use this offset. So basically you can keyframe elements away from their position on the sphere, which is quite nice. Wiggling, great for fading in to a sphere position by animating it over time or for making this kind of things like animating elements on top of the first surface if you enable wiggle on surface or also away from it if this is disabled. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and also are with me again with the next quick tip.